Apple CEO Tim Cook was a virtual guest at a recent technology conference, and he was asked which technologies he predicts will be most relevant in five years. He said that nobody can predict the future, but there are some technologies that he's very excited about. The Apple Watch is one of them. Take a listen. Uh, and, and I'm exceedingly uh, optimistic about the intersection of health and technology. You know, when we started, when we started shipping the watch, we did so with, with thinking about it from a wellness point of view. But we put a heart rate sensor on it and we quickly were, uh, I was getting tons of emails about people that found out they had heart problems that they didn't know about. And so we started adding more function to the watch, like we put an ECG in the watch. Uh, we put the ability to, to find out if you're in AFib. Uh, and I began to get even more notes from people that found out that uh, they had a problem because of this ability to continually monitor themselves. And, and so I, I think the idea of continually monitoring the body uh, much like happens in your car uh, with uh, warning lights and so forth. I, I think this is a big idea that has a long, uh, a long roadmap ahead of it. The future that Tim Cook is talking about is closer than he led us to believe. The heart monitor of the Apple Watch, in fact, has been accepted as a device that is comparable to the gold standard of electrocardiograms. The Apple Watch was approved as a medical device by the FDA back in 2018, and since then it has become a benchmark for all wearable medical devices. Last year the Apple Watch also had the blessing of the most critical audience, the cardiologists. This should not come as a surprise, considering Apple's approach to product development. At, at the root of it, what Apple is all about is about making the best products that really enrich people's lives. And we will not work on one that we don't feel like we can do it, do it to uh, meet that mission. And so we only do a few things. And so you can always count on it getting better and solving more problems for people. At an international congress of cardiologists, researchers from Italy presented a study showing that the Apple Watch can be as accurate as a gold standard of electrocardiogram. Standard ECGs can record 12 lead electrocardiograms, or 12 channels. According to the study, the Apple Watch can provide the same data with the same accuracy, by simply positioning the watch in nine different areas of the chest. The research was conducted on a sample of 100 individuals, men and women, 61 years of age, and was validated by statistical tools and peer reviews. The results were also published on the August 2020 issue of the JAMA Journal of Cardiology, the authoritative publication of the American College of Cardiology. This chart was presented during the Congress. It shows the heart activity recorded with the Apple Watch as compared with the recordings taken with a standard ECG on the same sample of the population. At first glimpse, the two charts look different to the layperson, but to the trained eyes of the audience of cardiologists, the results were the same. So how do you measure the heart rate using your Apple Watch? Here is your guide. The index finger is supposed to be on the crown of the watch, but in the picture it is removed for illustration purposes. Even before the evidence presented at the European Cardiology Congress, Apple, in partnership with Stanford University, conducted probably the largest clinical trial based on data collected from a digital device. The goal was to measure how accurate is the heart monitor embedded in the watch, 
as compared to a professional harm monitor. The results were presented again in front of a very specialized audience, expert statisticians, meeting at their largest convention, the Joint Statistical Meeting. In terms of accuracy, the harm monitor was found effective in 84% of the cases. The study was conducted using the Apple Watch 6. With the new generation of Apple Watch, we have no doubt that the accuracy can only get better. And, according to Tim Cook, we should also expect the unexpected. Uh, if, you, if you take some examples in Apple's past, uh, the, we didn't know when we were working on the chip for the iPhone that it would become the heart of the iPad. And we didn't know that it would eventually become the heart of the Mac, as it just did in uh, this, this past year. Uh, we didn't know that. But we kept discovering and we kept pulling the string and we kept our minds open about where that, would, where that journey would take us. And it, it's taken us somewhere that's incredible uh, and that, that, that has a great future ahead of it. Do you want to know more about the hard monitor in the Apple Watch? Click on the link above to find out exactly how the Apple and Stanford University project was carried out.